Hello, welcome to my first impressions about Houndsman. I play them a lot lately, mainly because I was completing my quest for the Doctrine. And my first impressions are as follows. They are really bugged. <laughs> they have a lot of issues. They shoot walls a lot. Uh, they dogs uh, run off randomly. Sometimes they like, finish charge in the middle of it. Uh, which is really really frustrating because dogs heal up only if you order them to return. Uh, so basically uh, the first ability is very good if it lands and it's really hard to make it hit something because they tend to uh, choose targets poorly and they shoot walls or shoot into whatever but it has a very long range and it has amazing burst of damage so you can kill players and many units uh, immediately. What I found is that they are best used just behind the cover uh, of your shields so if you don't have a front line with shields or something like that then you, you, you won't do well <laughs> with them because at range they have very low damage and they don't hit a lot but at close range they just melt people. I had one game when enemy players really tried to kill my huntsmen, but the, they just couldn't, because mainly because of the dogs. Because dogs slow you down and they'll just, just kill you before you reach them. In general, I feel like dogs are a very cool addition, because uh, it's like first archer unit which can actually defend themselves and they can do it very very effective uh, because the dogs slow enemies and reduce their damage so if anybody tries to charge your archers in the straight line you can just sidestep them because uh, archers are very fast just charge them with the dogs to slow them down and like confuse AI of enemy troops and just melt them it's very very effective, so as long as you have uh, dogs, they are quite a good uh, flanking unit. They are not that great in like big big battles if uh, you don't have frontline, because you cannot charge your dogs into enemies, because dogs will just melt and without dogs you are very weak. So I found that if you don't have good for front line to follow around, it's very good to just flank uh, and as long as you have your dogs and you kite, you are safe. Because it's really all you need to do is just X your archers uh, back a few meters and charge your dogs and, and the enemies will die. Of course, unless there is too many of them, but yeah, you need to assess the situation properly. So yeah, that's like my first impressions. Unfortunately, are, they are very bad. Uh, I already reported them. I really hope they will be fixed soon. Uh, especially the range of the skills and aiming because it's just main point of frustration with them. And uh, many times you have like clear shot at enemies and your unit will just refuse to do that. And sometimes they can shoot through walls and hit enemies because of reasons. Okay, to sum this up, they are very funny units and they have really good potential, but unfortunately because of the bugs, they aren't quite there. Uh, I think that uh, the concept of archer which can defend themselves is very cool, especially because it's like limited by health of the dogs, because when you lose the dogs, you cannot defend yourself anymore. I think it's quite balanced. So yeah, I have some more testing to do. I didn't check uh, whole veterans yet, so it will take some more time and hopefully they will get some uh, fixes uh, in between. So I guess that's it for the first impressions. Hope you enjoyed the video and see you next time.